welcome to Kashmir Crown News. Dear viewers, unlike other news channels and media houses of Jammu and Kashmir, we always try to speak about the situation in Jammu and Kashmir. We always believe that Jammu and Kashmir should become the prosperous and the happy state in the world. Let's make this Kashmir again crown of the world. But here, there are different politicians who actually try to speak in different way. But right now, I'm joined by Najimu Saqib. He is young and talented. But let me introduce him. He is the spokesperson for People's Democratic Party Youth Wing. You are welcome to Kashmir Crown. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Saqib, you joined politics. Why? I think, first of all, to be honest, it's my passion to work for the people, especially youth. Uh, I think the, the energies of the youth have not been channelized properly. Uh, they have become victims of, uh, you know, sort of agenda, agendas that have been enforced upon them from time and again. So I think these are young guys like you and me, we are here to change the system. That's it, that's why we're working, trying our best. I don't think so, it's moving that fast at a pace we, which you know, we would like it to be, but I think we are trying our best and hoping for the best. Uh, I think that was the main reason to come to politics, just to change and contribute a bit as much as we can. Okay. Uh, you do not have dream to become doctor, engineer, bureaucrat, administrator. Why politician? Uh, well, I was a professional. I worked uh, in certain MNCs in uh, Bangalore. I did my uh, college from Bangalore. Uh, I think more than what's required there is, it's to it's to sort of empower yourself technically, professionally. That sort of self confidence and whatever skills you can imbibe in yourself from outside the states, because there are the, it's a conglomeration. It's a, we are the world we call a global village. So Bangalore has become a hub of a place. So I think we acquire a lot of skills and try our best to get uh, get them to Kashmir, so that as a as a society, you know. As youth, as young and budding leaders, you know, intellectuals, scholars, uh, professionals, we can, you know, all come together on a, on a certain platform and, and do something for our, our uh, Kashmir, for Why our state. Join PDP only. I think uh, it was the agenda of hope. It was or it is? It, it is. I mean, I'm seeing at that point of time because okay. for that. Once you join. Yeah. For me, I, I sort of had a look around and I figured out where which ideology presents hope to the people of Kashmir and hope I found was in peace and PDP was a party that that so you think right now the hope has uh, it's lost I don't think so the hope has lost I think you cannot put hope in brackets uh, you know uh, there's hope more or there's hope less hope is a hope right so I think uh, uh, you know given the present situation given the present times I think everybody is trying their level best it's not just PDP see being the, the question that's time and again asked from me is like what is PDP doing I think my, I always tell them I think tell me what you have done what I have done you know we need to all because see you are PDP I am PDP PDP is a political party these are all ideologies right ultimately it, it's ideologies are for human beings it's, it's for people of Kashmir right so we need to come together on a certain platform and do something all of us together join you know so PDP has done a lot of things, you know, in terms of empowering the youth. I think, you know, they are, it's really heartening to see programs like these happening where you see young girls and boys, you know, exploring their talent, showcasing it to the world. Uh, I've seen, you know, from, from last year, you know, they, you saw so many young, talented Kashmiri boys and girls showcasing their talent to the world. We, we are hugely talented. So as a youth, uh, do you believe that the big blunder of PDP was to ally with BJP? I think... Let you speak in your personal capacity. I think ideological dispositions or, or ideations, you know, uh, are done... Uh, see, political politics ultimately is pragmatism. Right. You, you had to talk about democracy as a setup, right? Jammu gave mandate to BJP and uh, Kashmir gave mandate to PDP. So in a democracy, I mean, PDP is not a representative of Muslims. PDP is a political party which represents the ideals of people of Kashmir. It has the mandate of more than a million people of Kashmir. 
you know they have hope in it they have aspirations in it and jammu had the same aspirations in bjp when two political parties come up it's not like you know you and me will sit together and you know we'll say okay let's make a party we had an agenda of alliance maybe there has been you know setback in terms of like for example the dialogue process was uh, started which was a uh, very important point in agenda of alliance that was the first step i think the first milestone as i called it a day before yesterday uh, yesterday sorry so it was a first milestone you chalked out an agenda of alliance you had a program in your mind so you worked on that program and you formed an alliance so this is the if see our assembly is the representative it's the most secular institution you have mandate of jammu you have mandate of kashmir you have mandate of ladakh you respect all the mandate had we not let's say for example not respected the mandate of jammu you know it this it wouldn't it doesn't it doesn't work like that in a democracy you have to take aspirations of people on board and you know they had certain ideological bjp has certain ideological disposition pdp has its own stand its uh, pdp has not budged on its stand our stand is still similar uh, it's the same our agenda of alliance how is how is youth responding to pdp ah uh, that has been a tough question i, I mean to be honest uh, our youth president waid saab uh, after the i mean agitation during the period of agitation after it got over and that was the first question that came to mind when we started talking when he started talking about you know a program that was that was to be attended by chief minister mahbub mufti so i mean everyone was like you know can will the youth respond and and the show was such a nice i mean you know there were thousands and tens of thousands of young boys and girls you see every day you see people in sports you see people in enjoying coming to mainstream we have young guys you know lined up you know willing to come to uh, a pdp because of because they want to contribute i mean you know they see pdp as 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 a political party which i mean our youth wing has been the most strongest and and most active okay in our uh, own let, party let me because i'm running short of time my last question to you because i know pdp in 2002 2003 2004 promising to the people of jammu and kashmir that we will speak to all sections of the society particularly huriyat militants hizbul mujahideen but are you succumbing to your policies right now because uh, your workers are getting threats from the militants as you know recently in the south kashmir the stand of pdp as a political party has always been the same that all shades of opinion and all stakeholders should be consulted when it comes to kashmir hmm. the and what is the hitch the appointment of interlocutor Dinesh Sharma Saab, yesterday, is a step in the right direction at the right time, as we can say it. So hopefully things will fall back into place. Our stand is still the same. Our stand is that all stakeholders need to be consulted. They should be on board if a lasting solution has to be evolved for the Kashmir imbroglio that we are currently facing. Thank you for talking Thank to Kashmir Crown. He was Naj Musakib, uh, spokesperson for People's Democratic Party, spoke his mind and heart. that the people of jammu and kashmir really need healing touch once the slogan of mufti mohammad said late mufti mohammad said rather but right now there are so many experts who believe that the people is democratic party is losing ground fastly in jammu and kashmir and some people believe that national conference is gaining ground but let's see the upcoming elections the verdict of the people that is to be seen really on the ground once the elections are uh, here in jammu and kashmir So finally let me conclude by saying that the people of Jammu and Kashmir particularly this troubled town valley really need healing touch from the politicians from the political parties across this state of Jammu and Kashmir thank you for watching me on Kashmir Crown News